guys, today I'm going to be pre-planning my May monthly spread. This isn't a faux plan with me, this is an actual plan with me, using my May monthly spread kit. And the reason that I'm able to do this so early in advance is because the kit is printed on removable matte paper, so it really is designed to be able to move everything around, and I'm kind of seeing my monthly view as a working calendar, so I can flip ahead and see exactly like when I'm going to be out of town or important dates for the month so that I can then plan the weeks like more specifically if that makes sense. So I already have my May schedule pretty full with me getting married this summer. There's a lot of like trips and all sorts of things that are already planned in advance. So I already kind of know what my May is going to look like. So I thought I would go ahead and do this while these are still in stock. As of filming this, I do have more of these still in stock but I definitely would grab it like right now when you're watching this video if you think you're gonna wanna use it for May because they, I don't think that they're gonna stay in stock very much longer. Baby cat, hi. Okay, so I'm gonna get started with this first page and start with the banners at the top. So I'm just gonna line this up with the bottom and again, because this is matte removable paper, you can peel it up and reposition it if you need to, which I think is nice, especially with bigger stickers like this or like with the washi bottom strips, because I think it's kind of hard to place bigger stickers down without making a mistake or having them be crooked. So it's good that you can kind of like play with it and get it perfect. And I'll show you how easy it is to pick it up. I mean, if you make a mistake and you want to reposition it, this paper or this sticker paper is amazing. Like it comes right off. So lie that down. Next, I'm going to put this strip here. These strips are meant to cover up the days that aren't actually in the month. So these are June days because May ends here. So I added in a strip that covers the three there and then a box that covers this one here. So then I have a box here that says cheers, happy mama's day. I thought this was really cute to cover up the mother's day box. If you don't want to cover up the entire box, you can just use this as a decorative element somewhere else. But I really liked the idea of being able to mark it with like a little cute clip art square. And then I have an eat cake for breakfast. You can use this for a birthday or you can use it for a party. You can save it and use it in a future month for a birthday. It happens to be my birthday on May 25th. So I'm going to go ahead and put this here. And then I'm going to do my sidebar. So this one says goals for the month. Line it up and put it down. And then these ones are designed to have headers on top of them, which I gave you some options here. You could also write out your own headers on these blank ones if you wanted to. But I'm going to do, let's see, I think I'm gonna do next month for one of them. And then maybe bills or important dates. Or don't forget, oh, they're all good, I don't know. Um, I'll do Don't Forget, I think. Those will be my two. So, we'll do Don't Forget first. And then next month, so that I can jot down some important things that I want to make sure to accomplish for the next month. This is kind of annoying and this is going to show through the paper a little bit. Um, I originally had designed this with the center being white and a thicker patterned outside, but I ended up changing it to a color because the white was just so incredibly see-through for the little note that was like printed on the paper. But I figure once I start writing on it, I think it's going to be okay. So, I mean, that's just an annoying thing, but whatever. Okay. Next, I'm going to mark my paydays on Tuesday of each day. And I did change this up this month to be little flags. Last month, they were just banners like that, like little, whatever they're called, little header stickers. So I'm gonna put a payday on each Tuesday. That one's crooked, I'm gonna fix that one. I'm at like kind of a weird angle right now because of filming. 
but because it's removable mat, you can do it and not have to worry about it. I am a glossy girl myself, like with stickers. I much, much prefer glossy stickers. I think they are way more vibrant and just luxurious feeling in a way. But um, I also think that for something like this, for something where you are gonna have things move around, especially if you plan in the future, then it only makes sense to do it this way, really. So I should have had an extra little payday flag but I don't. I only had four designed. That's kind of annoying because I would want one more right there. I mean, I guess most people don't get paid weekly. They get paid every other week, so that probably wouldn't be an issue for other people. I'm just going to grab another one off of the sheet because I did pull in two packs, um, which is totally like not necessary. But I have a lot of travel this month in particular, so I needed more than just these two strips. I mean, if you have a month where you know you're going to have like a lot of things happening and you want to buy two kits, like I totally get it. And then I'm going to do this one that has three right here. Oh, went down crooked. See, it's hard when you have like bigger or longer stickers, which is why it's good that they're in matte. Okay, and then going to my little icons, I'm going to be flying home on this day. So we'll mark that at the end like that. And then we're actually going to be flying to the New York area before this day, I think on like April 26th. But then we're going to spend a few days at his parents house which is in upstate New York and then we're going to be going to Manhattan for some of this time so I feel like we're going to be driving into Manhattan probably on Sunday so I'm going to do a little car because we will have already flown there if that makes sense so we're going to drive into New York and we're going to be in New York and then we're going to fly back to LA and then after that my next trip is on the 20th through the 31st, but they're broken up into two trips. Let's see if we can figure this out. I feel like this is kind of confusing. So we're flying there that day and we're coming back this day. And then I'm flying this day through that day. And I'm gonna be gone all of this time. May I'm pretty much gone like the entire month, which is crazy. And then we come back. So I need one that's a three. Do I have another three one? Oh goodness. Okay, I'm gonna cut this one. We come back this day. And luckily I have little tiny scissors. I hope you guys aren't like totally bored with this. This is like a work in progress kind of. Okay, that's not perfect, but whatever. And then I need a two dayer here which I am out of strips again. I don't wanna like waste, oh, I have these. Oh my goodness, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna use this and this. Making do with what I have. Okay, now traveling, Let's see, I'm flying out this day, back to LA this day, then out again on this day, and then back again on this day, but I don't have another one. I have a little book sticker here. It says May Book, and I'm gonna put it on the first because it's gonna be like, you know, a little reminder to start a good book. And actually the final selection series book comes out I think on May 3rd so that will probably be what I end up reading like right around this time and it's called The Crown and then I also have a Friday the 13th sticker which I'm just going to put down I mean I just thought this was kind of fun to mark like in little fun days I don't know and then May 5th and then there's an L's B-Day one, but I mean, I put this down. If you want to mark on May 25th, the L's B-Day sticker, I don't know. Maybe you do. That would be funny. Oh, and I had these stickers as well. I just whipped up these for myself. I don't sell them in the shop because no one else has glam planner 
paydays but me and the girls that work for me so um i'm just gonna mark their paydays as well so that i remember them so we'll do let's see we're gonna do these like shades of blue down here these are pretty so they have a payday on the 6th and the 20th so we'll put this in so that i Oop. okay i need to make special ones for the monthly view this was created for the weekly view and it is not the same size and it's also glossy i need to make little matte ones so that they fit a little bit better but whatever i'll just use these for now and then on the 20th which i will pay them before i leave for my trip so i'm gonna put bill dues on the days that i have bills due which i always pay my credit card one of my credit cards around the 26th and then another bill happens at the beginning of every month. So we'll do those. And then days off, me days and sick days. I mean, I don't know in advance. So I'll just keep this in here. And then the last thing are these little icons right here. So let me see. On the 4th, I have a friend who has a birthday. So I'm going to put that down. So that I remember to reach out to her and say happy birthday. Love you bunches. The 21st is one of my best girlfriend's wedding dates, which is why I'm going to be traveling because I'm going to the wedding, obviously. So I'm going to put that down as a little like heart just to mark it because it's cute that they're getting married. And then I'm going to put little markings on the Fridays to mark my new releases so I can write in like what I'm releasing new that week. See I'm gonna be closed on this one right? No, I'm gonna be closed on this one. Yeah, so we'll put that there. And I'm gonna do asterisks for it. Asterisks will be like shop releases. And then I also have a couple pre-sales that are happening in May, I do plan like all of my releases and my pre-sales and stuff way in advance because I go ahead and start production on them. So I'm gonna have a pre-sale, it looks like, and these might switch up obviously, but it looks like on the 11th and the 18th, I think. Put those down. I always do my pre-sales on Wednesday and my new releases on Friday. 11th and 18th, let's put a little asterisk down for that. I don't have them in any color other than blue, which is the color of the thing, so it's kind of annoying. That way the blue ones are pre-sales and the green and pink ones are new releases. The 27th, I think my shop is gonna be closed. Yeah, most likely. Actually, you know what? I might not have to close it then. I'm trying to not close my shop as much as I can because I am going to have to be closed during this time. I'm going to be reopening on this day. So maybe I won't close. Let me put like something down for that. That's it as far as like this far ahead. Um, obviously closer to if I end up making a doctor appointment, a dentist appointment, if I have videos that I want to get up on certain days, anything like that, I can go back in and add it. But considering it's still March, this is a pretty like full and beautiful monthly spread for May. And that way I can look ahead and see like at a glance, okay, you're going to be gone this week. You're going to be gone this week. I just really, really love it. Your paydays are here. Your important days are here. <sighs> I love it. It makes me like really happy to look at something like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this pre-planning plan with me and I will see you guys later.